Did you know that you can significantly improve your flexibility with less than 10 minutes of effort per week? It sounds too good to be true, doesn't it? But there are lots and lots of studies to support it. The important part is how you spend those 10 minutes. So in this video, I'll guide you through the exact method that you can follow to make some rapid gains with minimal effort. How often you stretch is more important than how long you stretch for. Let me say that again in a different way. Little and often will get you more flexible more quickly than one longer session each week. Less than 10 minutes a week is all you need to drastically improve your flexibility. We'll get to the how and why that is in just a moment, but one 10 minute session every week will get you pretty much nowhere. But how do we know this? How can you trust what I'm saying? Thomas and friends, no, not them, it carried out a fascinating study to help prove that time spent stretching in a single session did not have significant effects on range of motion, whereas time spent stretching over the course of the week was the most influential factor in improving flexibility. This little graph here shows us how stretching for five minutes or less in total across the week didn't have as good results as stretching for between five and 10 minutes. And importantly, more than 10 minutes looks like a little bit of a waste of time. So how should you break up those 10 minutes a week for best results? Well, this same study provided us with this little graph, which shows how many days per week the subject stretched for. Now, yes, what it shows is that six days per week gave the absolute best results, but arguably only marginally more than two to three times per week. And that proves that great improvements can be made without needing to dedicate yourself to an almost daily task. So let's grab this two to three times per week idea and look a little closer at how we do the stretches themselves. How long should you hold a stretch for? If I had a penny for every time I've been asked that, I would be filming this video from my own desert island, I assure you. Luckily for us, this has also been studied time and time and again, and fortunately, they all bring us the same answer. The optimal length of time for holding a stretch is 30 seconds. 30 seconds is better than 15, but 60 seconds brings no better results. So theoretically, why waste your time with those extra 30 seconds? But hear me out here. When it comes to improving our strength, in the gym, let's say, it's a widely accepted fact that we work in sets. We do a set, we take a little rest, we then do another set, and maybe repeat this three or four times for the muscle group that we're trying to improve our strength in. So why, when it comes to stretching and improving flexibility, do we reject this learning and just stretch a particular muscle once. Treating your stretches like strength training and doing sets is the ultimate way to improve your flexibility fast. But how do we know this? And how many sets should you do? This time, Taylor and friends came to the rescue with their study. These guys found that no further flexibility is gained in a single stretching session after repeating a stretch for between two and four sets. So you would take your stretch, you would hold it for that optimal 30 seconds and release and rest. I like to be time efficient, so move on and do the first set on your other leg before repeating each stretch twice more each side. So in this example, I have just optimally stretched both of my hamstrings and it took me just three minutes. If I do that three times per week, I've only spent nine minutes of effort and I can watch the flexibility gains roll in. But I can almost hear your complaints through the screen. But this is only one muscle that you've stretched. Correct. If you have goals of improving flexibility in various different muscles, this principle would need to be applied to each. Nine minutes per week for your hamstrings, nine minutes per week for your glutes, etc, etc. So my advice, if you want to improve your overall flexibility, ask yourself if you can dedicate 10 minutes of stretching three times per week, and then take these next three stretches, which target multiple muscles all at once. If you want these in a follow along video to do with me with more instruction, find that via the link in the description below. And don't forget to hit like on your way past. Firstly, King Arthur stretch at the wall. Hold it for 30 seconds, switch sides, and repeat three sets on each leg. Next up, butcher's block stretch. Again, hold for 30 seconds, then pair this with a frog stretch, holding for 30 seconds, and repeat this 
stretching pair for three sets. And then finally, single leg forward fold. 30 seconds, switch sides, and again, repeat for three sets each leg. Now mark your calendars and use that repeat function to keep yourself accountable for three sessions a week. Let me know in the comments below if you're going to give this a try. And now go and check out this video for just three different stretches, which will target your whole body if you want even more efficiency for your flexibility goals.